butchering the last of our meat birds for 2022. We won't have any more meat birds until spring of 2023. So if you want to know how to do it or just want to come along, let's go get to butchering. Now, if blood and stuff like that bothers you, you may not want to watch this video at the very beginning. So first of all, we're getting our scalder ready and it only consists of like a turkey cooker and then a stainless steel pot. Here we've got a plastic tub to catch all the feathers. And then this is our chicken plucker. So after you scald it, you're gonna stick it in the chicken plucker and spray with a water hose down in there and spin it around till the feathers come off. And then you're gonna take it out. And this is our view as we process the chickens. The chickens over there are fixing to get moved. We left them there for a while, just so that it would fertilize the soil right there because that's where I do a lot of gardening at. But we're gonna move the chickens on out into greener grass, hopefully soon. And then I'll bring you along one day as I clean up the garden. So normally we process these chickens in the spring and in the summer, but this is our first time processing them in the winter time. So we picked a warm day to get it done, but I'm not sure that we'll do it in the winter time again. So we've got a pallet that we have just mounted some um, killing cones on. We actually have three, but I'm not going to show you them because we have chickens all in them right now. Okay, so my dad showed me how they did it back whenever he was young. Because both of my grandparents and my great grandparents, they all used to butcher their own chickens. And the way we do it, it keeps the meat from bruising, so it's a lot cleaner, and the meat looks a lot nicer. So this was the main rooster that we had, and he wanted to flog everybody. So he gets to go in the freezer. We don't want any main roosters. And so you can see his spurs, how long they were, and they would really hurt if they got a hold of you. What you got there, Nathan? That's the liver. So here, Nathan's already gutted this one and everything, and I'm fixing to wash it out and then start cleaning it up and then parting it out. We find that we use more chickens whenever we um, part them out instead of leaving them whole. Okay, so our current situation is it got really cold outside for me. My hands was going cold and numb trying to part these chickens out. So Nathan's out there doing the plucker and gutting them and cleaning them up. And then he's bringing them in here on trays and then I'm going to part them out in here. I already started cutting this one because I forgot to turn the camera on. But as long as you follow like right around the legs and everything, it's pretty easy to cut. If you start cutting into something hard, you know that you've hit bone and you don't want to do that because it's going to dull your knife. And once you get on around, these are real easy to just pop like that and it pops that um, socket out of the joint and then you can just follow that cartilage around through there. And then there's your leg quarter. Also, when you're cutting the breast, there's a bone that runs down through here. So you wanna to try to stay as close to it as you can without getting into it because that's got your chicken tender and your breast is attached to that.
tender on this side and then your breast is on this side. And then you've got your wings. And if you remove that breast, it makes the wings a little bit easier to see where the cartilage is and everything. carcass I'm gonna take and put in the turkey cooker.